Welcome to Gunfighter News. I'm Airman Samantha Bell. In the news, Idaho's Lieutenant Governor and Twin Falls Mayor receive orientation flights in the F-15E Strike Eagle. Mountain Home Air Force Base hosts its annual Operation Warm Heart softball tournament, and F F-22 Raptors arrive on base for Operation Global Gem. Lieutenant Governor Brad Little and Twin Falls Mayor Don Hall each received an orientation flight with the 389th Fighter Squadron as part of the 366 Fighter Wings Community Relations Program. We got the aircraft, went through the preliminary data, and then we went for one hell of a good flight. The Air Force gives orientation flights to reward and motivate individuals and to provide a better understanding of a particular weapon system, in this case, the F-15E Strike Eagle. You know, I've dreamed of doing something like this, literally dreamed of going into one of these aircraft, and uh, it did not disappoint me. It was fantastic. 24 teams made up of active duty and reserve military members and civilians from all around Idaho, and even a few players from Colorado played in the three-day annual Operation Warm Heart softball tournament. Operation Warm Heart started in 1993 as a way to help young military families. The tournament has been going on for more than 20 years, and this year is the most successful so far, raising $5,500 for gunfighter families. This year's winner was a team from Twin Falls called Shake and Bake. It started to just kind of build camaraderie with, uh, with squadrons within the base, and then it branched out into the community. So we had the community ties in with that, and it also benefits the uh, gunfighters by raising money for them. F-22 Raptors from the 43rd Fighter Squadron at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida are at Mountain Home until September 2nd in support of the Air Force's first Operation Global Gem Joint Multi-Service Training. This is their first deployment to a base that isn't home to the F-22 Raptors. Some of the reasons they chose Mountain Home are the size of our airspace, climate, and the mountainous terrain, which is very similar to areas they might deploy to. Also coming up, the grand reopening of the dining facility is September 1st, so airmen in the dorms will no longer receive BAS or be able to use VIP dining cards. We would like to thank KBOI CBS Channel 2 for donating their studio to make it possible for us to bring you Gunfighter News. And that's all from the Gunfighter News Desk. I'm Airman Samantha Bell. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.